No. No, no, no. You shit me. No. Just no. 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 WWE main event. <sighs> Let me tell you something. And this isn't because the show was bad. The matches were good. Oh, well, one match was good. But no. No. Look what happened. It, this isn't the show's fault. This is WWE.com. This is Facebook. This is Twitter. I went on WWE.com today because I wanted to look something up. And I see Kofi Kids, the new Intercontinental Champion. And, I, and now I know that the show is taped because that was before the show even came the fuck on. No. Uh, just why? It gives away the winner of the match before the show even comes on. Do you want to think you're going to get ratings? I was looking forward to this match and then... That just was a buzzkill. A fucking buzzkill. I was like, shit. I still watched the show, but I didn't enjoy the match because I knew who won the match. Like, how do you expect to say something is good if you spoil it? You completely spoil it. This is like 2007 when you said Kali was going to win the world championship. That's not really any different because... It wasn't really. It was. It sucked at the time, but still. Well, it's it sucks now. Um, what else? They also um announced that Daniel Bryan came back to WWE before SummerSlam, and then um. It wasn't that big of a surprise that it was Daniel Bryan was their partner. Um, like shit like that. I hope they don't do that. Like. They do this every once in a while. This is one of the reasons I don't go on WWE.com. This is one of the reasons because then it gives you a f fucking spoilers you don't want to be spoiled. Because this match I was looking forward to. This match was well built up. This was just properly built. And look what happened. It ruined it. So I'm never going to get... So this is why I'm not going to get too invested in feuds like that anymore. And now on Wednesdays I'm not going to visit WWE.com. For that reason. Um, but let me get to talk. But the, so, yeah, now you know Kofi Kingston won by Trouble in Paradise. I can't really cover the match because this was what I thought when the match was on. But they did show some video packages of them like they normally do. Um, then uh, Dolph Ziggler had a match with Zach. Miz actually got interviewed saying that uh, he's going to get his rematch. Kofi was happy that he won. So, yeah, but then uh, Miz got it. But then. Uh, we get Dolph Ziggler fought Zack Ryder. Match was not really that good. Mostly like a squash match. Ziggler just ends up winning with the zigzag. And then uh, Ziggler says that... Vicky comes on the mic and says that Ziggler's going to be the champion in two weeks. Dolph says that he's better than the Long Island Loudmouth, which was pretty funny. Um, and um, he he says that he's going to put anybody that if you... That put... And he says that a main event will come face him next week at... at when at main event and Ryback comes out and now Ryback's gonna face Dolph Ziggler next week. Hopefully it's not. It won't be a squash match though, but hopefully it's not. Make it a match. Um, but yeah. Um, that's really it, guys. I can't really cover it too this show now too much because because they gave away who won. So yeah, not even a five minute video. So I'd like you to subscribe to this ch well, channel if you haven't. Um, and like the stuff on here. Comment. Um, like. Do it the same thing on the talk and then subscribe, like, comment. Uh, see you brother, subscribe, like, comment, add me as a friend on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter. Um, and I also, and then, since I do have one here, and I am thinking about this, I forgot to show this when I did my WWE collection. And I'm going to show you my poster right now. So I don't have to do that anymore. Uh, let's see, did you get, yep, you can see the poster. It has Batista, John Cena, Ray Mysterio, Triple H, Batista, and Jericho on the back. It has nothing. That's pretty much it, guys. Peace out.